go hi there everyone this is your friend jake rodriguez pompirada from bacolod city negros occidental philippines welcome to my channel and then in this video tutorial we will learn how to create a C++ program that we will call US $2 Philippine Peso Converter in C++ Before we continue, if you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button Click the notification bell so that you will be notified with my newly uploaded video in my channel Share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials So let's get started I'm using code blocks as my IDE which has already a C++ uh, compiler within no? so here so we have here uh, code blocks 20.03 so it is free to download in the internet a very good text editor no? for C++ programming so we have here the comment and then we have your problem description i will read write a program to convert the us dollar into philippine peso assume that one dollar is equivalent to 50.74 pesos then display the result on the screen so here in line number 14 and 15 we have here a library file sharp include io stream for input output and io manip or input output manipulator that we will use later on in our program for putting at two decimal places when we convert now in a c++ programming language we have to define a constant value when we say constant this value cannot be changed during the program execution we are using this keyword const and then we have here a data type called double double has much higher in terms of precision value compared to float so we have here a variable dollar to peso equals 50.74 assuming that uh, one US dollar is equivalent to 50.74 pesos in Philippine peso in line number 19 in main it is the starting point of every C++ program it is a function where when you compile your program using the C++ compiler it is the one who will be executed and then line number 20 it is a curly bracket left curly bracket begin and then we have here double um, double uh, data type which has a variable amount that we initialized with uh, 0, 0.00 so every variable in C++ should be initialized to 0 as long we are uh, um, performing computation to avoid unnecessarily erroneous result no? if the variable was not initialized so we have here two new line and then console out title of our program backslash t us dollar to philippine peso converter in c++ this will be the title of our program to new line and then line number 25 we are asking the user to enter in us dollar and then console out and then console in for input we declare a variable amount this variable amount will store whatever value in us dollar that our user will be provided and then line 27 to 28 where we are using this command set precision to and fix this command will enables us to set two decimal places with the use this library file io manip so without io manip or input output manipulator we, we are not allowed to use this library file to set two decimal places to the right so new line and then we have here to display the amount in philippine peso we are just performing a very simple multiplication between the variable amount and then the dollar to peso which has a value of 50.74 that is a constant and then new line and then end of the program backslash t or horizontal tab which tells the user that the program is already ended and then two new line and then we have here the right curly bracket to end the body of our c++ program so after we have done the next step that we'll do is to compile our work go to build and then build and run 
Okay, our program is now running. So here, US dollar to Philippine peso converter in C++ enter amount in US dollar. Let's say we have five dollars, and then amount in Philippine peso is two hundred fifty three point seventy. End of program. Let's close again, and then we run again in the second second time around. Let's have one hundred dollar US dollars, and then the amount in Philippine peso is five thousand seventy four. End of program. Okay, for the third time, we will run again. Let's say you have here 341.50 dollars. So, we can have here, amount in Philippines peso is 17,327.71. As you can see, we have only two uh, decimal places because of the seat precision in the use of the uh, library file IOMANIP end of program so for the fourth time let's say for example we have here 63.43 dollars so we can have the amount in philippine peso is 3261.18 end of the program this is the end of our tutorial video i will put a link in the description below where you can download the free and complete source code in my websites Thank you very much guys for watching. So, if you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial. Share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. Thank you very much guys for your support. This is your friend Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental Philippines. Says, until to the next video tutorial guys. See you. Bye bye for now.